Welcome back, back to, to X- Vanos Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing the game. We <laughs> 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 You know what the channel is. We don't, we don't well, explain it it's, anymore. It's, it's, not, it's, it's excellent games. But we don't know now. I mean, they know now, <laughs> yeah. Like, he's making me fall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm they, sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I don't, know, I don't know if I want to take that apology or not. Uh, <laughs> I'll think about it. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> it's like, just get it. You want me to get it right the first time? <laughs> No, no, the second time. You gotta get it right the second time. Not the first time. First time's alright. First time's alright. It's like, it always helps if you get it right like about the first time. It's like, it's like, it's like in a movie and you have to redo the scene like three, four, five. Three, four, five. Maybe, maybe about 20. The, maybe 20 times. And yet you have... 100 times later, we still haven't even got I'm the like, scene done right. Every part of me just says like, there ain't no way that that first take was the best one that they had. They're like, well, that's the one we had. I mean, I guess we have to use that one. It, that one always seems to like bug me is like when they do stuff like that and they say like, because you've ever seen like a couple movies and they're like have some really bad takes on like maybe a line was just read bad or yeah. they didn't give it the right amount of um, uh, they didn't give it like the right amount of uh, oh, what do they call that uh, emotion? Oh, yeah, <clears throat> and. It always bugged me that that was always a thing, like, you know, like, how many times have they done it and then that was the best that they could give to that, um, they could give to the, to that scene. That's, that for me, anyways, it's just like, it's like, I gotta make the joke. Every scene with Hayden Christensen. <laughs> Every scene has to have Hayden Christensen in it. Just put Hayden Christensen in it. It'll be all right. It'll do great. It'd be, a, it'd be a perfect movie. It'd be the perfect movie. I don't know why. Like somewhere in the background, you just hear, "I hate them." It's like, I, hate, I hate sand. I hate sand. <laughs> just, I just hate sand. <laughs> just, just, just the thought of just like hearing stuff from freaking, uh, uh, freaking uh, Attack of the Clones and Wrath of Revenge of the Sith. Just the lines that Anakin, just Hayden Christensen says. And I was just like, I would love to see that kind of movie. I don't even care if it even fits the movie. It's like, if you told me there was this romantic comedy, romantic comedy that was going to come out, and then, it, like, periodically you hear Hayden Christensen in the background, I'd be, I'd pay that movie. I'd watch that movie about a couple more times. Watch it two, three, you know. I'm like, I want, I'm going to pay, I'm paying this much, all that for a ticket? Actually, for several tickets. <laughs> We're going to see this at least. 20 times. 20 times. And are, is the popcorn and and pop refillable? Is that free? It's no. Like, well, I'll still I'll still just do it anyway. I'll still do it anyways. It's worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Hayden <laughs> Christensen and Hayden Christensen in Hayden Christensen, Christensen the movie. Hayden <laughs> Christensen the movie. Starring Hayden Christensen. And a cameo appearance by Hayden, Hayden Christensen. Christensen. <laughs> uh Speaking of cam- oh man, speaking of cameos and like the fact that hearing Stan Lee passed away, oh, yeah. I'm like, no, no, like I know, I was, so I was sad. so hurt because then somebody, when somebody posted all the cameos of Stan Lee in all the Marvel movies, and I'm like, gosh dang it, who did this? I cried at work when I found out. I'm like, no, I was, I was hurt. I was so hurt because I was before I even went to work. I. I heard that and I was like, no, what, no, who did this? <laughs> who would do that to Stan Lee? Hmm? No, not Stan Lee, anyone, not Stan, but, anyone but Stan Lee. Thanos, why? <laughs> but, you know, it now was... Now that makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sort of sense now. It's like, <laughs> it took a little longer to take effect, I guess. It happened, it just, you know. It, it happens, I mean, like, I knew, like, I knew eventually that was gonna happen. It's not that soon. You just didn't, you, nobody wants it to happen so soon. Like, the last thing anybody ever wants is for someone to die, and it's... Oh, yeah, it's... And that's, you know, 
but we know that that's gonna happen. It was just for someone like it's the thought like, oh well, it's Stan Lee. Yeah, that guy is, feels like that guy would practically be immortal. Yeah, how long he lived, he felt like he was immortal. Right, but that's like the fact that Karen like. Okay, you, you ever heard the theory, the fan theory that Stan Lee is a watcher? Yeah. Like if, if you know what a you know what the in Marvel Comics what a watcher is. Yeah. Basically, it's just uh, someone who can see events take place, but they cannot interfere in any way. <clears throat> they can't they can't do anything to stop it. Hmm. So here you have, and what could be the best disguise for a character like that would be a feeble old man. <laughs> It would be perfect just because it's like, here's Stan Lee. He's, he has no means of, he has no way of really um, stopping something like, you know, uh, uh, Ultron from attacking one, uh, one part of the country or seeing uh, Loki attack in New York City. It's something he really can't do. Mm-hmm. So, so to see, like, you know, you see posts that people make and then you're just like, it's like, why did this hit, hit me? Hit my heart why so did much. This have to happen? It's like he was too good for this world. It's like he's too good for this world. And this giant bee. <laughs> it's all this bee's fault. It's all this bee's fault that Stanley died. Oh no, not Stanley. He was allergic to to giant mutant bees. I'm actually gonna do a. Oh, you're gonna gl- get some. I gotta do get some lives. You gotta so get lives. So I gotta do the glitch. <laughs> so, uh, what is your favorite Stanley cameo? I think it had to be. It was him, and it was him and Lou Ferrigno. It was him and Lou Ferrigno. Oh, um. In the Hulk. Uh. It was him and Lou Ferrigno in the Hulk, and they were walking out of the building. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. I see. You see him talking, and it was something like, and it was like that weird foreshadowing where they go like, someone needs to put more security on this place because it could be a real problem if anybody broke in. <laughs> and I was just like, how does he know that? Oh no! Oh, I gotta find one now. There it is. <clears throat> Crusher. I always liked um, trying to do the cameo. I always like. You gotta have a certain angle on that. Oh, I'm trying to do that cameo. Uh, I like the one from Fantastic Four when he's the mailman. Oh, yeah, he's the mailman. Here's your mail. <laughs> <laughs> got your mail for you. I did find I'm that Stanley, one. Stanley, and I got some mail. I found that one to be pretty interesting. I think it's just. It's funny when you, like, you see him interact with the heroes or something like that, but. So I got created these things. I'm talking right to him. What? He's like he created them, and he's talking right to him. He's talking them right to him. It's it's just one of those things that you don't. Oh, I don't know why I can't do the glitch now. It's weird. I guess how does the glitch work? You're supposed to slide down, and you're supposed to keep hitting them. Oh, okay. It is literally going to be the episode. Just trying to do this. <laughs> if the rest of the episode is going to be this, I'd be fine with that. Let's just do this. It's fine. We'll about. get it. Don't worry. We oh. got this. No. Oh, 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 we got it. Ooh, it's... Like unless it's like unless like jumping in and out of the level actually affects the um our live counter. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, you're supposed to do. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's not like a perfect frame. It's just like one angle. You gotta it's do. Like that. you gotta hit it at just the right spot. And does the dynamite play a part in it or no? No. It's just for just to throw. Yeah. Okay. Now he's down here. Get up here. Switch the ditty. Maybe you gotta. I was gonna say like, why didn't you try like waiting till he walked away? Or you gotta slide. You gotta you slide. Can, you down have to this. slide down this. Huh. At a perfect angle where you can still bounce off and hit the uh, slide at the same time. Like, and there's that one, or there's the. I can't think of the other. It's like, or going through like the first level, because there's like always like a bunch of lies on the first. Oh yeah, level. the first level. 
But if I can't I, do this, I might just do that for. So if you're gonna do it, then you're gonna have to do it that way. Granted, that's not what anybody, everybody wants, but it's it is a method, and it is it's at least one method I know. I always know this one. Okay. Gotta, Maybe instead of switching, just it's just what it is. It's like one supposed to be one frame. I was gonna go first. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna keep me on. I'm gonna go to the first level. Just go to the funky. Good old funky. Hiya! Wait, 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 wait. Here, there it comes. Uh, 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 uh. Because you can jump into the treehouse and then there's an extra life. And then there's a bunch in the trees. There's a bunch in the trees, so. No reason to go into the cave part because then that just immediately loses. So there's one. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely why our audience came to watch this one episode. Just watch <laughs> just, us trying to get lives. <laughs> just us getting lives. Hey, if we're gonna get lives, we might as well get lives the way we know how. <laughs> there's a green one too, which is for two lives. Thank you. I don't know if there's any more. Ah, oh, there was one in the cave, but I don't know. And Rambi isn't there anymore. And you got like you can make like the three bananas and you get a life. Got that. <laughs> just, well, <laughs> just, just what we're doing. It's like this. This is what our this is what our channel has been reduced to. Just to doing this. Well, like, the snow level just sucks. The snow level sucks. You need them extra lives. I don't know what else to tell them. We don't know how to tell the audience. They're yelling at us right now. I know. Just, just immediately. Just like, Come immediately. on. Come on. What are you doing? Unsubscribe. No. No, we need the... We need the... <laughs> we, need, we need the... Oh, wait. I can get the other one over here. We need the subscriptions and the... In the in the in the channels and the, the channels and the, 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 the and, and, all and the, the chance to meet us in person us in person. This is probably a little creepy because you want to meet me in person. <laughs> I was like, I feel like their world would be rocked if they ever met any of us. Yeah, they met us in person. They're like, oh. and they're not as they didn't seem they seem so big. <laughs> <laughs> they seem so different. <laughs> That's the way I thought. Like, you ever just, like, you only, like, if you've never, like, if you've never met anybody and you've never seen their face, mm -hmm. and then finally meeting them, like, what were your, I guess to say, on your first thought? Eh. Like, if you could pick, like, any, like, what would your first thoughts be in terms of having to deal? Uh. Trying to find. I'm not even gonna guess. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like, what, okay, I'll tell you the story. You knew, um, I met uh, Eugene. That, okay, yeah. That did wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, way differently. Like, you know, this. Oh, right. He's actually, I was like, maybe, you know, not be as muscular, but he's actually really muscular guy. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> That's not how I remember that. You don't remember him as being so, uh, and like have some muscle on him. Yeah, I just remember him as, you know, Eugene. Right, you only remember, like, because you remember him, like, in a past sense, and then you, you've never seen what they're, you never seen, like, him in person, or see him with, like, where you, I guess for me, it was always, um, it's not, I, and this is a true, this is true for me, I have never heard Undertaker talk. Mm. Ever. Never. I've never heard him talk, and I don't plan to. I think it... Like, it's not that we're like, oh, I'll, I never want to do it. It's not that I... I think in my head what he talks, what he might sound like, is going to be different from the reality. And, I, and it's not where, like, that's... And to me, that's not a truly bad thing. It's just... To me, it would feel like I would have been disappointed. Yeah. Because I've always seen Undertaker as um, he was menacing, but at the same time, you know, he was the cool character that, you know, like, you know you didn't want to mess with him, 
but at the same time, you, you wanted to keep seeing him in in fights. Oh yeah. Speaking of wrestling fights, he was in um, a new wrestling uh, thing against oh, uh, DX. Oh really? So DX came back for like one for a while, for like one last match. Like Shawn Michaels, like retired, like yeah, like eight years ago. Yeah, it was a. Uh... I did. I actually seen him. Well, I didn't see him. I saw that he was in a movie called Marine Six. Hmm. He was in that movie, and I was like, Sean Michael. I was the one that made me laugh when Sean Michaels was in like a Christmas <laughs> comedy. I would, I would watch that. I would watch it too. I would be like, um, I want to like, I will watch it if Sean Michaels does his signature movie. Oh yeah. He has to do it. Like maybe he's in a fight with somebody, and then. If you know what I mean, like when before he does it, he he, also, he does that stomping. Yeah. Like, he does that. And I, I want to see him doing it in the background. I want to vaguely see him do it, and then when he does it, I will cheer and laugh at, because of the mere sight of seeing it. We'll finish this conversation in the next episode. Oh yeah. <laughs>